all right you are welcome again today let's consider hypothesis of rose theorem hypothesis of rose theorem now definition the rose theorem is that if a function f of x is continuous on a closed interval x1 and x2 differentiable on an open interval x1 and x2 and f of x1 is equal to f of x2 then there exists at least one number x0 in x1 and x2 such that f prime of x0 is equal to 0. Now Rose theorem is talking about three conditions. Number one, so that the function must be continuous on a closed interval x1 and x2. And then number two condition, it must be differentiable on an open interval x1 and x2. Then number three, that f of x1 must be equal to f of x2. So if these three conditions are met, now it says that there exists at least one number called x0 such that this x0 exists in the interval x1 and x2 in between the interval such that f prime of x0 is equal to 0. Hello talking about three conditions if these three conditions are met there exists at least one number in this interval such that when you place it in the derived function it's going to give you zero now let's go what are you expected to do or what are the steps for us to consider or for us to tackle this problem called hypothesis of rose theorem number one is you are to show that f of x1 is equal to f of x2 number two you are to solve for f prime of x that is you are to differentiate and then you replace x with x dot and equate it to zero to solve for your x naught then fix your x naught in the differentiated function or you're passing the value into the function now it must give you zero all right now let's take a look at this question show that the curve 3x squared minus 12x plus 11 satisfies the hypothesis of rose theorem on the interval 0 comma 4 and find all numbers x naught in 0 and 4 such that f prime of x naught is equal to zero right yes let's consider this question now the first thing is it that since this function is a polynomial it is continuous and at the same time it is differentiable on every side particularly zero and four on the interval zero and four okay so now let's go when you can see that this function is continuous on the interval 0 comma 4 and differentiable on the interval 0 comma 4 all right yes now let's go i'm going to take the intervals as the first interval as a x1 the second interval as a x2 okay now let's plug in let's pass it into the function let's see what we're going to have we're going to have f of x1 and then we have our x1 to be 0 right okay let's pass it on we're going to have a function 3x squared minus 12x plus 11 all right okay now anywhere we see x we we'll replace it with zero right okay that means we're going to have three open bracket zero close bracket squared minus 12 open bracket zero close bracket plus 11 so when you simplify this i'm going to see that f of x1 is equal to 11 all right yes now let's check for f of x2 so f of x2, we're going to pass in this value 4 into the function. That means we're going to have 3 in the bracket 4 squared minus 12 
open bracket 4 close bracket plus 11 so when you simplify this you are also going to come out with the value f of x2 is equal to 11 here we see that f of x1 is equal to f of x2 you know we have seen the three conditions number one continuous number two differentiable number three f of x1 is equal to f of x2 now we are to find that number x0 such that f prime of x0 is equal to what zero and then this x0 is in between the interval zero and four now let's go let's pick our function f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2 of x plus 11 let's differentiate okay so when we differentiate we're going to have f prime of x is equal to 6x minus 12 all right yes let's replace x with x naught so when we do so we're going to have f prime of x naught is equal to 6x naught minus 12 is equal to 0 let's solve for x naught we're going to take minus 12 to the other side so we're going to have 6x naught is equal to 12 divide both sides by 6 we're going to see that x naught is equal to 2 all right yes now let's check if this x naught when we place it in a differentiated function if it is going to give us 0 now let's check f prime of x naught you know we have our x naught equal to what 2 now let's fix it now i'm going to see that f prime of x naught is equal to f prime of 2 equal to 6 the differentiated function is 6x minus 12 you get it right f prime of x is equal to 6x minus 12 now let's place it let's place 2 in x we're going to have 6 open bracket 2 minus 12 so 6 times 2 is equal to 12 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 so here we see that f prime of x naught is equal to 0 and then our x naught is what is 2 then you see that 2 is greater than 0 and less than 4 that is to say it is in between this interval 0 and 4 hence we say that f of x equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 11 satisfies the hypothesis of Rose theorem on the interval 0 and 4 all right yes let's take another example let's see how it goes